Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 58th annual gathering of the Concourse de Elegance at Pebble Beach. It's an elaborate fascination of the world's most elite and most desired vehicles. This is sort of the Super Bowl of car events. I mean, most car shows you go to, it's, you know, it's the 55 Buicks and the Chevys and uh, the, the kind of cars that we all grew up with. Um, these are the kind of cars we used to only read about. So, of course, the weekend highlight came from the century-old maker of high-performance vehicles, Bugatti Automobiles, who inaugurated their hand-built, open-top Veyron 16.4 Grand Sport with world acclaim. With this 1,001 horsepower, reaches speeds capable of 252 miles per hour and holds a 0 to 62 mile per hour time of 2.5 seconds making it the world's fastest roadster, Bugatti claims. 2.5 seconds in 0 to 62, some very impressive statistics. 1.3, 1.4 million euro vehicle? It's, it's 1.4 million euros, X works, meaning uh, the, the, the buyer is responsible for taxes, transportation. Uh, so 1.4 million uh, euros is approximately $2.1 million at uh, today's exchange rate. In response to customer demand, Significant modifications have been made to the vehicle's complex structure to make the open air experience possible. Recognized changes from the coupe include a slightly higher windscreen, stylized daytime running lights, and a lightweight, transparent polycarbonate roof, which needs two individuals for removal. It even comes with a stored umbrella like foldable soft top so owners don't get caught in the rain. We took the, the umbrella uh, idea or concept and, and uh, made it into a soft top that's easy to open, can be placed by one person, uh, is watertight, and will allow you to drive up to 85 miles per hour and get your back home dry. The cabin features moisture-resistant backstitched leather, a reversing camera with a 2.7-inch monitor in the rear mirror, and a premium sound system with a digital signal processor. Where does Bugatti look to for some of their en their engineering direction? Yeah, so we have some of the finest engineers in the automotive industry working uh, working on this vehicle in uh, uh, Molsheim, France, and in Wolfsburg, Germany, at, at, a, at a facility that uh, pretty much resembles aircraft manufacturing. The very next day after the world introduction, chassis number 001 of the Grand Sport was auctioned off during the Pebble Beach auction presented by Gooden and Company to the highest bidder. Two million. In the back at two million. At two million, 2.5. 5 sir. Dave was absolutely right as the vehicle went for 3.19 million, including buyer premium and proceeds benefiting Pebble Beach charities. Do you, do you guys benchmark any other vehicles as competition, or is Bugatti just in the class of his own in your mind? Uh, no, the, the, the directions of, at the start of this project were, were not to copy anything else that was out there. With production beginning March 2009, only 150 copies of the Grand Sport will be made for 1.4 million euros, excluding tax, duties, transportation, and customs. The first few cars will go exclusively to registered Bugatti customers. And just as Jamaican sprinter Usain Bolt has dominated the human speed barrier, the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport has done just the same in its class. Welcome to the world of automotive rhythms. Hi, this is John Hill, market manager from Bugatti, and you're watching Automotive Rhythms.